It's a driving while awesome seven podcast radio hour. <laughs> oh God. Yo. Do you guys know what a fluffer is? GTO. Mellow grinds. Oh, I got a PT Cruiser. It's a convertible. It's really cool. All oh, the smells of crayons for you. <laughs> hey, YOLO. You only have one life. If you have coilovers, no. Beat it. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good podcast right there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I screwed up. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Are we welcoming people? Welcome. I didn't know it's it was a very podcast. high resolution. They're Somebody's going to see. see there's like cilantro in my teeth. <laughs> cilantro. <laughs> cilantro. That must be cilantro. arts friend. Hell yeah, dude. We went over my burrito already. I went to order extra cilantro and he's like, uh, can I have a burrito? A pastor with extra cilantro. Oh, I hate it. Cilantro. And, cilantro. cilantro. Oh. and the dude was like, dude, I thought you were one of us. And he just looked so disappointed. <laughs> he like threw gang signs at me. We're not meshing. It was weird. But yeah. then you also had to order with no beans. And then I told him that I had a Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> and at your yeah, Tesla, slap you across the face. You left your Tesla at Sizzler. You should Chrysler. see him order pizza, though. He's freaking yeah. no, on don't it. Don't even do that. <laughs> Chrysler, Margarita. We actually had pizza yesterday, and uh, there was a discussion about that specifically. Margarita. Yeah, he was very upset. Yeah, there was there was a combination about bruschetta and really bruschetta. that came up. Bruschetta, for bruschetta ex- exactly. I, See, oh, <laughs> man. this is ridiculous. So sorry you had to do that. <laughs> Welcome, is, is Warren in the picture? To driving a hat. while awesome. A hat. My name is Warren. I'm Brian. Oh, I'm Jason. I'm Art. I'm Lane. Jason, you got to talk really close to the mic. Just, okay, just a reminder, okay. dude. You good, hear you're your good. lovely Shouldn't voice. Should we do this thing like vertical? No, it doesn't work vertical. If you want like three people in the picture, we could do it vertically. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what we had the wide angle well, it for. It still isn't wide enough. Okay, all right. Some really great questions coming in. Dude, there's some solid questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> read them. Can I great. boil brown eggs? No. Yeah, man. Same of as white. Why, Why not? not? <sighs> Why would you ask that? Is that a thing? People are stupid, dude. No, they're not stupid. They're your listeners. I can say they're yeah. stupid because this <laughs> yes. is my podcast. It's also NorCal Mike who said that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, he's cool. <laughs> He's throwing us a bone. That's off the top of his head. He just wants some questions. That's right. We're not even at the question. Uh, We're not even at the question section yet. I think didn't Lane make that? No, no, the Kami. Oh, Kami. 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 NK. Oh, NK. 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 Just like Kosei wheels, not Kosai. Kosai. Kosei. That's what we should do an entire episode on how to pronounce things. Pronunciation. Oh, it would be right. so fun. And we just keep saying it over and I've over. Seen, yeah. I've watched those videos because my coworker says Audi, and I was yelling at him. <laughs> Kill him. And I'm like, dude, it's not. I'm like, it's Audi. Audi. And he goes, well, uh, are you sure? <laughs> yes. I, I send him all these links to YouTube videos and everything. Jason I can. saying it on yeah, exactly. Audi. Yeah. Well, it is slightly different in English. I'm not going to say like Volkswagen in, in, <laughs> in America. Yeah, do do that. Yeah. How do they say? How do they say in Germany? Audi. No, Audi. 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 That's an Audi. <laughs> just, yeah, it's Audi. Audi. Yeah, same thing. Audi. Yeah. Just, just channel Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. Audi. 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 Get in the Audi. Get yeah. my hand in the Audi. <laughs> Who told you you could drive my Audi? <laughs> I want Get to out be of my Audi. Does oh. Jason own any non-German cars? Yeah, I have a Lotus Elise right now. Hell and yeah. you've obviously missed the episode on the, the Suzu. Oh, that's right. This is the raddest truck ever. This is true. Um, What are we going to answer some questions here? I believe we just did. Are we done? We're done. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. (laughs) Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Let's answer some questions. Did we get any? Well, first of all, Jason, you're back on the podcast. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, How are you? I'm great. Yeah? I'm great. I had a really good weekend. Nice. Nice. That rarely happens. And you had the Driving Law Awesome podcast to look forward to at the end of said weekend. (laughs) Not really, because I didn't even know about this until last night. Oh, so it's a great surprise. surprise. Surprise It just keeps getting better is what you're saying. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Totally. (laughs) Exactly. Um, All right. Well, let's let's answer some questions if we can. Uh, Computinator, how do you or you guys hide small rock chips without a panel respray? I've seen recommendations for Dr. Color Chip, but... Are there other brands that you prefer? I've never found one that really works. I just da- you just dab in paint and then color sand and buff. 
Or just strip the entire car down to bare metal and repaint the whole <laughs> you thing. Can do that, That's yeah. the only way to deal with them. One yeah. rock chip. One rock chip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, or you just so live with it. It depends. Like if it's in the clear, uh, you hit up our buddy at Auto Works Detailing and he'll give you a color sand and polish and it'll take a lot of that shit out. It will but, help a lot. Um, there's one cheap way of doing it that I discovered that works well on black cars, especially if you want to mess around with bumpers. Um, have you guys seen those wax pens? It's like yeah. a it's like a wax pen, and then you get the color. It's then I say black specifically or white because if it's a non metallic color, you basically go in and just like dab in the wax. It's like it looks like a lipstick, and then you use the same colored wax over that, and it hides it really really well. It actually fills in the chip. Um, if you go up to it and run your nail through it, you might pull that shit out, but otherwise it conceals it really well. Um, I can't remember the brand of the product, but it's like a, a little wax type product. Um, back in the nineties, there was a uh, wax that came in multiple colors mm-hmm. do you remember that, that. Oh, and you yeah. put it on you glaze it over and then you and it would actually kind of work it made your whole car look like shit yeah exactly. yeah, as opposed to that <laughs> one spot. yeah but who's driving around without a bra are people that's true yeah i know yeah I mean, bra, you gotta take the bra off if it's gonna Wait, rain because then you get bra. water underneath and oh. then it flaps in it yeah. okay that's right i lip will bra. reveal that uh art you may remember we walked out to your uh m coop a while back and you're like hey what do you think if i just put this sticker oh yeah right over this giant scratch on the front yeah I denied so, it. So stickers were going to be, or you're saying is not an option. Is that what you're saying? Well, that is something you can do. You can throw a sticker on there, but I don't think yeah. that's a you can do like DWA fa- approved. Like, like maybe 500 illist stickers kind of mm. like a, a uh, scattered about. Maybe yeah, like a cool. Band-Aid, like those Band-Aid ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Band-Aid. Those are that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. add zip ties probably. That's good. Just but, put zip tie, but, drill into the bit into yeah. the chips and do zip yeah. ties. I but really, like, if you just get a single stage like touch-up pen, dab it in. Sand it, polish, you'll be good. You're good. Five, five That's footer. the way to do it. Five no, footer. like a like a one footer. Okay. Yeah, if you do it right, it depends how deep it is too, and all that. I mean, um, deeper, yeah. kind of the better. If it's like a sharp one, because it's easier to fill. Kevin mm. at AutoWorks was telling me that for some smaller stuff, you can actually just heat the paint up enough to like oh, it actually sure. like single stage glosses especially. over. Yeah. You can, yeah. When you do it back together. Too. You can yeah. actually melt the paint back over. Right, you heat it up. So or you can like, completely like, fuck up your paint and ruin your car. Right. Do not try that at home. A uh, mean wagon. Does Jason think there will ever be a modern wagon sold in the U.S. with the same driver experience focus as older wagons like his E30? If not, how do we convince manufacturers to give us one? Buy them. Buy lots of cars. No, there won't be. It's over. I mean, there's it's nothing over. like an E30, like regardless of the wagon part of it, right? I mean, I mean E91 even, was pretty close. They don't even make a WRX wagon anymore, right? No. No, I mean there's some really cool wagons right now. I mean there's E class wagon, Big there's three series wagon, but they're mid-size. all high power they're heavy. Right. Right. There's sure. Volvo, that Volvo, yeah. so hot. V90. Oh the S ninety, V ninety, sorry. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, but no, I, I don't think I think we're past that. I think we're no, we're not going to see any more enthusiast cars. You hear about the Miata wagon? Just, no. just kidding. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I thought you guys were going to go straight to Buick Regal wagon. Have you guys seen that thing? Which is oh, really it is pretty. super nice actually. Yeah, it it's, it's impressive. I mean, it's European. It's an Opal, right? It's an Opal, yeah. but unfortunately for the U.S., they raised it up and put the stupid body clad on, on it mm, to make it look like That's what we always big. get, right? All yeah. road country version, right? All yeah. road version, <clears throat> dumb. But you could probably, you know, rectify that. The truth is, you can get. I mean, you can go buy a golf wagon with oh, a stick. That's actually a good call. Golf wagon, four motion stick yeah. or four front wheel drive stick. So that that's as close you get. A wagon, because like the Alltrack's cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you lowered it or something, you don't have to. You just get the regular one. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. You can get the regular height, so you have. Golf but does it have the one four turbo still? One eight. Or it still has, you can get the one eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they don't make, they make a Subaru cross trek, but they don't make one that is, they don't make a legacy wagon, a no. road bit bias mm-hmm. one, right? No. They're all going for the off road. Yeah. Thing they don't now. make a, they don't make a legacy wagon. They just make the, Outback. right. And Outbacks are fucking huge. They're huge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Massive. All right. So, uh, mean wah, wagon. Wah. No, no. Babadilla. I think, uh, I think no. Jason Camille says, cool. Does he feel the same way about me? I looked at that question earlier, <laughs> and I went and looked at his page, and he's got a 318i E30, uh-huh. and he's standing on the fucking fender of the car. Uh, <laughs> oh, so the answer to that is stop standing on the fender of your car, and yeah, you can be cool. Wait, with a 318i? That's a terrible motor for that car. I know. But, you know, not everyone can have a 325 or an M3, so it's fine. <laughs> but, you no, know, it's, it's actually a really cool-looking car. Um, oh, really good he, taste. I, look, on the first page of his Instagram feed, I saw that he, like, injures himself constantly and has a lot of, like, see? He's literally standing on the fender. Like, oh, I wow. cleaned my engine compartment. Look at how clean it is. End up just destroyed my fender. <laughs> he's no. he's a lightweight dude, though. You can tell. Yes. He is he wearing say, socks? 
It's hard to tell. Hmm. Is that okay. is that? It's very possible. Well, I saw you better than wearing shoes or no, boots shoes or something. On. Oh yeah, he definitely. Okay. <laughs> he does oh, have mean, shoes. I don't know. Like, what the, is he like, wearing huh? socks? I thought it was is a style a style question. <laughs> He's got exposed ankles and standing on a wow, fender. What kind of socks is he wearing? Yeah. <laughs> Brian wasn't ready to I'm, go down that road. Yeah, no. Uh, Stiletto Lexi, in an effort to save the manuals, I'd like to learn how to drive a stick. What is the best way for me to find someone to teach me? Most of the people I've talked to are enthusiasts, are car enthusiasts who refuse to teach me on their cars. That's Aww, fucked up. They're, they're messed up. They need yeah. to rent a car on Turo. Yeah. Under no. their, their name. No, no, That's no. A good no. She just needs to buy, no. buy something cool. Like go buy a Miata or go buy something. I mean, you just drive. Jump, dive right in. Dive right in just and have, buy one. have one of your friends show you. Why not? I mean, how did all of us? Sink or swim. I think yeah. it's worth mentioning that her friends are jerks, right? Like yeah. as a, a person who drives a manual, you have to be willing to pass it on to the other people. You know? I'm like, willing you to just... pass it on. I'm not willing to replace a clutch on every one of my cars. No. Yeah. You think it's really going to use really it that much? sitting there slipping the clutch? Yeah, the the last. I mean, you're time, a bad teacher if you just let him do that. No, right? but I mean, I I did I teach mean, somebody how to drive on the Isuzu, yeah. but I'm not going to okay. give some oh. keys to my like my Scirocco and Stiletto say, Here. Lexi, come out to Santa Cruz and I'll let you drive the Mighty Max. There Bingo. you go, perfect learner's car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that thing's easy to drive. It's, it's very easy to drive. Uh, Stephen Powling, speaking of hate, what is the one thing in the car world you used to hate but now like? EVs. Oh. Everyone hated electric turned. cars until we drove them. Hmm. And then we all bought them, didn't we? No, we didn't. Of, there are a lot of EVs in this no. room, aren't there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Three? We Three. did not. Um, Three to five. EVs is a good one, though. Yeah, it's easier to like them. Um, Can't really argue with two and a half seconds to 60 in silence. I know. And, you know, you can fill up so quickly, too. You know, I got a gas station. Oh, wait. No. You you Damn. here's the best part. You don't ever have to go to a gas station. Yeah, that does the best like part. It. I like really. No. Yeah. Oh, you like dealing with people there and the <laughs> card card readers that yes, are always broken. Yeah. And the would you like a receipt? <laughs> oh no, 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 you have to go My inside favorite. to get it. What are you no. keeping your receipt, your George Costanza, I, with your absolutely. wallet? <laughs> I have a spreadsheet for every one of my cars. Every don't tank of gas dare. I've ever gotten. No. ever. I like oh, when I people do. come oh, up to me and ask for money. No, do not. Do not. I do. He does. My favorite part. My favorite part is when I fill my thirty. Twenty one years. My fill my thirty and. And it gets about, you know, five minutes in and then it goes boom, boom and the thing flies out gas everywhere. It's what like happened it's so to fun. fuel pumps because they did 20 years ago or 15 know. years ago when yeah. I bought my E30, they filled up normally. I know. Now they've, they spray fuel at you. They've done something they, and I have to get this. It's like a Rubik's cube oh, yeah. where I'm moving the nozzle and I don't know if I'm the only one. That yeah, you're going to be at a certain angle yeah. and you yes. have to hold it down. E30 I, is like easier. The, the 2002 is like reverse cowgirl upside down. <laughs> like there's a very specific place. Like I literally have to br- brace it with my knee. Like it's, it's You ridiculous. bring your liberator pillow and get like <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. right there. <laughs> like, yeah. Support your... Yeah, yeah. 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 I know it's hard. I think it's, it's California hard. Air Res- Resources Board, CARB. Ooh. I think what they're doing is making the pumps so that they spray gas out and light your car on fire and that's <laughs> Uh, their way of getting rid of the yeah, old car. Oh, whoops, you have an old car. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You should, just have you a should button fix that. Behind the window yeah. and they're just fucking with the people with <laughs> yeah. the old cars. They get like exactly. extra points for getting rid of the old ones. <laughs> yeah. Your car's on fire. You should fix that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it burned to the ground. I guess you've got to get something new. Oh, I wouldn't say I hated them, but I used to be like, oh, uh, convertibles are lame. Uh-huh. Now, I'm like, fuck it. Bitch basket for the win. Right. When are you yeah. When are you getting one? <laughs> I I want I tried to buy a Saab 900 convertible. That's for Radwood. That long, yeah. I know. That's true. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a hard time thinking of anything else. Yeah, I was kind of going in the mods world, you know, like pa- something that like a certain yeah. type of wheel or a certain aesthetic or paddle shifting. I'm kind of down with now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why paddle shifting? Because eh? you drove one PDK yeah, yeah, once. Yeah. yeah. For like 20 minutes. I don't know. No. We'll Next question. Back. We'll back. Okay, I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, either or, you know, yeah, I think both can exist. No. Paddle shift for track car. I think it could work. Really? Uh-huh. You set in lap record? It was the 991 GT3. Mm-hmm. Car it revs ruined. so crazy. Yeah. The car that was ruined single-handedly. By uh, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I know that's the thing, like every, all the guys, you know, like I'm a macho <laughs> car guy. <laughs> I'm going to shift it myself, see, you know, fuck the it, new no, school. I don't think it is that. I think it's just having fun, Brian. I, I understand the I think it's straight part. up fun. I don't like, I don't think that's like I, I a think real people, thing. You're like, oh, you think cause you're a car guy, you have to. No, that's not. I don't think that's what it is I think that's all. part of it for sure. I don't, I don't think it is at all. I think it's straight up. It's the fun of driving. Connectivity. So the joy of driving, being connected to the vehicle, matching yeah, but the I think you're, I think doing you're all that stuff. I, I think you're writing it off too easily. Like, 
the fun of a GT3 around Thunder Hill has got to be amazing. With Way that more fun than a manual. Have you driven a 97 GT3? With a manual? No, I'd like yeah. to. Yeah. I, I mean, I, but does it really deserve that much hate? Yes. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, does I mean, it, I, you know. that I, much hate? I mean, it's, I think it's, it gets more a lot of hate. It's, it's more that it's taking away the manual from us. That's the hate it gets. And the fact that they only brought out the 991.1 GT3 with an auto, it gets hate because everyone wants a manual. But they, that's not what I'm talking about. I think that's objectionable. Like, they should offer both, certainly. But... I think people just get hung up on know. it. Too I think much. it puts douchebags in cars too. Thank you. So nine nine ones when the nine nine one GT three came out, I can agree my, with that statement. All also, my, all my customers turned into GTR ex GTR owners. They turned into the guys that were just all about going flat, put wrapping their cars in chrome and stuff like that. Yeah. Before that, it was like real enthusiasts, guys that liked cars. They, you know, you'd ask them what else they had before. They're like into a Scirocco. They're like into. You know, some other thing. Cool. They're actual car guys, you know? So I, I drove the GT3, this little bit of trivia, before Ferdinand PX signed off on it. This is the 991.1. Mm -hmm. It was super early thing. We were doing a, a 50th anniversary thing for Road and Track. So they got us a really, really crazy early car, uh, driving the car. And it was right after the Geneva reveal of the car. Wow. So I, I show up the next day in Weissach with Andy Preuninger, the guy who runs GT cars at Porsche. And he's like, oh, I, I probably shouldn't even say this, but he, he said <laughs> something along the lines of, yeah, I'm so sick of these assholes and uh, they should drive the fucking car before they criticize. And I'm like, I'm one of the assholes. Sorry, dude. Like, you should have never put an automatic. It's not an automatic. It's a dual clutch. Mm -hmm, whatever. Um, so we had a big screaming match. And he is mm. one of my favorite people in the industry because he knows his shit. He's a real enthusiast and he gets it. And... I my argument to him was as soon as you put an automatic in this car you're going to get the wrong people buying it so what's going to happen six months from now is you're going to hear from all of your dealers that they're getting customers coming in complaining about brake squealing brake dust ride quality stupid noises like you know the light flywheel all the rest of the shit and they're going to be driving them way too much they're going to brake too much and your car is going to lose its magic you are full of shit what are, well six months later or nine months later I guess when the when the came in GT4 came out the invite came straight to me and not to road and track. And it was his way of calling me over there because that was the manual. Yeah. He pulled me aside and he said, yeah, it's kind of his right. apology. Well, he said, you're right. I <laughs> yeah. never thought he said six months in, we have customers who have driven 20,000 kilometers at 12,000 miles in six months. And he was like, what the fuck are you doing driving a GT three, you know, 20,000 miles a year sitting in traffic. And then the complaints started coming in with, it was all brake squealing, brake dust, ride quality, interior rattles, all the shit that they never, heard before ever so when you put an automatic in a car you fundamentally change the type of person who wants to buy it mm. um and that's my issue with it well yeah but that's i mean that's a business issue but i'm talking from my say, perspective like the question is you know what are you okay with now that you didn't used to be and um like for my driving enjoyment i think i could have a lot of fun with one of those cars i don't you know, like I agree that it could be, I think these are good points. It could be bringing in the wrong type of customer. And I think business wise, like if you're making decisions then that that's, that matters. But I just think that that car around a track would be a hell of a lot of fun. And, you they know, are. I think about the real race cars that are out there circling for the continental series or whatever. And I mean, you know, it's like race proven shit. And well, it's they, like the question, well, it's not because they don't really use dual clutch. They don't use the same dual clutch as they use, you know, actual race gear cut straight it's, cut gearboxes. it's pretty good though right i They're, mean i don't know a lot about it from, but. The, from the user experience it's about the same and the, yeah. the question that i always have is when you're buying a sports car what are you buying it for are you buying it for the experience of driving the car which is going dancing right you know you don't go dancing to get from one side of the dance floor to the other you just go dancing to have a good time yeah. or are you going for the lap time and if you're going for a lap time an automatic or a sequential manual is going to be or the, which are fundamentally the same thing on track will be the fastest way if I'm going to, if you ask me to set a lap time, lap time in a current GT3 PDK versus manual, I'll choose the PDK. But that's not why I go to track days. I mean, I prefer a manual, but I'm not super against the PDKs like I used to be. Mm. You, you know, uh, like, and, and I don't know, like a 991, it gets into a lot of different questions. Like a 991 for me, it's too big and heavy for that dance, anyways, really. Mm -hmm. Like, it, that is a lap time car mm -hmm. for me. And so know. it's. I don't know. I mean, I think if, if you are looking for the spirited driving, you're probably going to pick something that's a little lighter and a little more uh, nimble. I don't the, they're, they're just a really big car. Like, I, I, you know, if I'm going to go for the dance, I'm going to pick like a 997 with a manual 
thus proving my point that they ruined the 991. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I agree with a lot of points, but... Right. No, and, and one last thing I'll say is that there is something cool that I appreciate. Like, obviously, all my, you know, I'm a manual guy as well, and, you know... Tough guy. I heard I about you. Know, you. I like to, you know, I like to manhandle that shit <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Um, except for Mercedes. I like to... Get some Kodiak. I like to shift it like this. Uh, <laughs> but, um, no, so... It, the PDK thing, I mean, I, I, the, the speed of it that does have a, a unique sound, like it's a very different visceral experience versus like actually going through and rowing your own gears. Yeah, it's like, pretty like, wild, And I, I think actually. that's pretty rad. Like, I mean, it's impressive how fast you can shift and do that repeatedly, repeat, repeatedly and without actually breaking shit is insane. Like, I can't believe it, right? But um, It's you and me versus the world, aren't Yeah, right? but I mean, it's the same thing. It's like track only shit. It's like if you're going to go all out like that, you're not going to do that going up Skyline or something no, like that. No, yeah, it's... You know? It's it's, it's uh, not going to be that much fun. It's, it's that like long on-ramp occasionally where you yeah. have that experience. And, I mean, it's cool, but uh, I wouldn't... I mean, definitely would never prefer it over a manual. Um, I can't imagine ever doing that. Um, that would be my answer to that. Next question. Forrest Kugel works. <clears throat> I want to hear from the whole crew, Jason included, about their hobby, health, fun pursuits outside of the automotive realm. What's that? Whoa, what? Uh, there's help. a world? Is there anything that comes close to the excitement and passion? He says he skateboards, but less and less nowadays. Knitting? Ceramics? Forrest kind of kills it in the Bungee in jumping? The collecting stamps? Confess your secrets here. Ooh. Um, I like to... Do all sorts of stuff that I don't do as much anymore. Like nice. what? Like go body surfing, little disc golf, golf. Magic um, man. Magic the Gathering. Isn't disc uh, golf camping? for golf? No, never. <laughs> um, things like that. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, little kid in the house and work and car, yeah, went, car stuff. I went <laughs> golfing like 15 years ago. Yeah, I think I remember that. Uh, I used to go-kart race a lot, but that's back in the automotive realm. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's kind of hard. Like, I think about it like I, I, it'd be good to get exercise just as a human. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I didn't pick a hobby that you get exercise in, you know. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> if you drove a manual, you would. <laughs> <laughs> just maybe, the left maybe. leg and the right and the yeah, right, arm. right arm. Well, I drive a C4 Corvette, so I'm always wrenching on it. Yeah, so you're so pushing it down yeah. the street. Yeah, 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 yeah I hear it. You're muscling it around. You own a surfboard? I mean, yeah, I like to do stuff, <laughs> but I just don't do that anymore. Yeah. It's more the family thing than the car hobby probably, but you know, it's just like fishing. being in that stage of like a young kid, you know, yeah. that takes up a lot of time. I also enjoy fishing quite a quite a great deal. Fishing. Are you a fly fisherman? I or wish. Like no, deep just, sea? Are you just... a fly fisherman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly the type of fisherman. <laughs> yeah, that's for, yeah. exactly. I got Super sequined, fly or just kind of? Sequined uh, foul weather gear. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> It's very nice. Big platforms. Uh, Jason, what about you? Um, there's something other than cars. I mean, I have a house, which means I have constant projects because stuff. I'm as good at working on the house as I am as working on the cars. So the house is always broken oh. and the cars are always broken. Um, mm-hmm. But I bike, and my bike's always broken. Road bike? Road? No, it's a. I have sort of mountain. Mount, a mountain sort, sort of, of mountain, like hill bike. <laughs> I took a mountain bike and I ruined it. Gentle I took slopes. a mountain bike and I sort of raised the fork because I have a bunch of injuries from when I was younger in car oh, accidents. Okay. So I can't like do the road bike weird uh, position It's a recumbent. Thing. So it's no. <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, I bike. I'm not an asshole. Uh, with a manual manual gearbox. This is a manual 21 speed manual. <laughs> so you put like yeah. smooth tires on a mountain bike and you have a higher. Half smoothie tires. Higher, higher sound. Sound. And, and you have like the ape hangers, but like yeah. the nerdy <laughs> style where yeah. it's like. Yeah. And then I have active sound management on it. So oh, fantastic. Yeah. No. That's the card in the spoke. That, that's that, how'd you know God yeah damn it yeah <laughs> on to me um, yeah mm. bike and hike bike hike camping yeah okay is there, is there anything i'm kind of with you All I do yeah is- i've been uh I, I i just bought that new bmx bike to try and like ride around with yeah. my daughters more yeah but, it's something i mean it's more just you know we go riding around the block and be a around great, on great spot and on stuff like that so um but yeah, I like taking photos and stuff. That's not really. Uh, oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's, a, that's hike, a pastime. That's hiking a hobby. around and stuff like totally. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No photos for sure. I mean, I mean, it's just uh, photography. All kind of goes. It, it all sort of leads back to cars too, right? Because I usually photograph cars and I'm into that. I mean, I do like architecture, so I, I do. I have a few architecture mags um, and I mags. take pics. Cap snaps, snaps. <laughs> of buildings and such. Yeah. Um, he same. runs these mags. I know. Like, I got a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. travel. No worries. Uh, travel is a big one. Yeah, I, I really like food. I've mentioned that before. Oh, the yes. Podcast. I'm kind of a foodie. Huh. Did you like uh, Mind of a Chef? I did. I enjoyed it. Nice. I think there's something there, Oren. Thank you. We'll definitely have to keep chatting. Okay, we'll chat. Should we uh, ask some questions Yeah, did you see anything you like in there? 
Well, somebody said gas station TV must die, which is oh, the best oh, God, that's ever. so Please. annoying. What is the fucking point? Yeah. Volume 11. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> does, does that work? No, it doesn't work. It's just loud commercials in your face. I don't face. feel like we have them around here. We have very few. Very few, yeah. Yeah. Very few. I just want to see that 930 with the cool graphics. Yeah. With that yeah. gas tank in the back. In the back, back yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's all. That's at 76? I don't remember. Isn't there a 928 one? There's a 928 one as well, yeah. 928 one? Not a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys on live? Ask uh, questions. Send them we, in, we please. Need, we need your questions. Yeah, we'll Instagram. be doing a, a probably, what, another five minutes of live videos? Yeah, so sounds good. So if you don't ask your questions the next five minutes, you're out. 71 GTV, what do you hate more? A slow car that refuses to pull over and let you pass on a fun, twisty road? Yes. Or a random car that parks a foot away from you in a parking lot? Damn, that's good. That's oh, good. Dude, the right. pullover the, the, thing, for following sure. Following the car is way worse. Yeah. Yes. The, the, so maddening. The, the guy who parks right next to you is close enough that you can key the shit out of his car <laughs> and slash his tires and break his windows. It's the guy on the freeway, it's, it's a pain to key the car from yeah. a lane over. Yeah. It's <laughs> not worth it. Yeah. Right. And if he's <clears throat> close to you, you can check if you have any door dings. Exactly. If not, you get over it in right. a couple of minutes. The guy you're following, you're just like, you just you're, want you're boiling. Yeah. You're... <laughs> and what sucks so bad about that is it's kind of rare to get to the right spot in a driving road and they yeah. just fucking ruin it. Oh, yeah. I yep. know. It's awful. And they're it's oblivious. Like... Hey, how about this? How about the person that thinks they're going fast? And we'll oh, yeah. motorcycles motorcycles oh. yesterday. Oh god, the motorcycles, motorcyclists are the, worst. are the worst. This person, I've never seen someone so oblivious. So you went to go past this motorcyclist allegedly over a double yellow. It was yeah, and myth. That was the first time that motorcyclist knew you were there, despite the fact that we were so on terrible. his ass for about two days. Yep. Flashing lights, honking horns. Was he doing and... the thing where the straights come horns? and he kind of goes quick on the straights? Oh, yeah. And then goes like a snail's pace. Totally. I don't turns. know what kind of bike it was, but it flat out was no faster than his, his O2, which was <laughs> yeah. so he just never... He, yeah, it was just... Yeah. It was painful. So, uh, it was pretty brutal. Yeah, I wanted him dead. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, that definitely wins by far. Yes. Number one. Uh, Cars and Comments asks, what are your thoughts on the uh, Fiesta ST? Is it more fun than a GTI? Brian, what do you think? Uh, Jason would know. He's yeah. Jason knows better. The Fiesta ST is more fun than a GTI. Oh really? Yeah. It's also a shit box. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun car. I mean, yeah. Those are the compromises, right? right? Exactly. I mean, it's it's made like crap. It's built like crap. It's designed like crap. It's engineered like crap. But it's fun, and it's better than in all ways than the Focus ST. That's what I've heard. Fiesta ST is a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, Brian drove uh, one of the Coastal Range rallies in a Fiesta ST. So fun. Had a blast. Right. It had big brakes. You know, the interior is funky design. Like VW is some of the best interiors out there, in my opinion, just for simple design still. And uh, Ford's like the opposite end of the spectrum. So you have that to deal with. But we uh, it was so fun. It was like, you know, everything you want to do in a car. And it's there for it. Yeah, they love to be sideways. They're like total lift off oversteer. Yeah. Maniacal. Yeah. They're great. It's like it's like driving. I don't even want to say well-built. Driving a modern Mark II GTI, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just yeah. crappy interior, yeah. crappy ride quality, but just smile all the way. Good car. Super tossable. I mean, pilot shit car, but good fun. <laughs> Race German USA. In two years, the 95 E36 M3 will be eligible for antique plates. I don't know what that is. Classic vehicle. Uh, name other cars that are eligible or soon to be for antique plates that you just now realize. Is that so cars that are turning 25, 25? Yeah. But, but we parts, don't have that here. Well, we have classic. We have historical vehicle at 25. And is that 25? Oh, okay. mm-hmm. And then Pennsylvania's antique at 25 or classic at yeah. 15. Nevada has some different. too, yeah. right? So That's how does pretty, that work here for historical vehicles? Hi, California historical vehicles, any car that is 25 years old and quote of historical interest, which I think leaves a lot of power to the dmv people uh-huh. so if you know somebody at the dmv you're you can get the, all my cars got them they didn't they didn't fight me oh, yeah, I mean, yeah I'm but sure i'm not you... trying to register a camry right? right i mean i'm sure if you tried to register like an 86 camry they'd be like Whoa. what yeah. does it give you um, and you just point to radwood and like 40 dollars extra a year to pay them uh-huh um you can and restricts where you can drive your car so you can drive the car unlimited miles to and from parades car shows gatherings, special events cars and coffees mechanics rally sorry, that, that rallies that kind of stuff Unlimited miles for the enjoyment of the car, basically. Yeah. And then, quote, occasional personal use. Wait, there's one so. crucial point here being missed. No smog. Well, technically, there's smog. Really? Mm-hmm. What's Legally, the there's smog. They don't ask. Okay. So they just don't request it when you get there. Oh, they don't request it every two years kind of thing? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Shh. Might have to do that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> two years <laughs> sneaks up on you. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Um, so any any twenty five year cars that are are interesting to you? I mean, I'm not really in a position to start. Integra Type R is 
closing in on 25, right? Okay. Yeah. E30 M3, uh, E36 M3, like you said, is closing in on 25. What else is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you on? I can. From your personal account. What? My phone just died. What else is like, what else came out in 1995? 95. Like, it seems like an E36 M3. 993. Like the First year of the 993. What about E500? Um, oh, E500 yeah. oh, was like 90, 93. So those yeah. are, all, but those, it's weird because maybe it's just because I'm old, but I remember when those cars were all new, but I think like, okay, yeah, it's time. They're really cool. Yeah. Like, I think it's time for an E500. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or oh, to for have sure, a, for sure. a historical vehicle plate yeah. or 993. FDRX7, Mark IV Supra. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, VR4s, all that kind of thing. Those are earlier, oh, three thousand GTs. But... Oh, I thought for some reason you were going to say VR6, which would also count. Right? Oh yeah, so, like, Corrados yeah. and stuff. Uh, uh, we have yeah. feedback. What? Yeah. <laughs> Any good questions uh, on there? Vandal Industries says, uh, "What's the better way to park, front first or back in?" Remember, we had this question early in uh, trivia podcast where's your engine lore. and where's your battery and how unreliable <laughs> is your box? that's the right question well the thing we came up with was it was delayed gratification if you back in you're giving yourself that quick exit quick exit yeah. so you do a little work up front so are you that kind of person do you like the delayed? I very rarely back in yeah yeah i don't know I always back in. Do you? Well, I, look at, you know my mouth. I, who knows what I'm going to say and need to get the need fuck to run out, out quick. <laughs> this is like Ronin where you put the gun in yeah, the milk crate. So you know. <laughs> hey, your car definitely looks better. You know, people, know, here's it, my deals. Everything I do is for the protection and preservation of my cars. And anything I can do to get people to notice that something different is going on here, the better. So, and that's historical vehicle plates, German front plates, backed in, whatever I need to do. Any questions? Yeah, there are no questions. No questions. All right. Someone said F1 GTR. That's 95. Cool. Uh, Something F1 tells me they're GTR. not usually registered. Yeah. No. In Montana, Montana always, Montana. right? If anything. <laughs> um, Axel Jor, what are your thoughts on the Trankus Cars and Coffee memo? Uh, he says that Derek Whitaker Did you read it? Uh, posted yeah. it. I read it. What's the memo? I read his comments. He had over 100 comments about it. Yeah. <sighs> Essentially, there was a. a handout being given to certain cars and people at random it wasn't really clear on why people got it and it basically said we want this event to be 73 or older cars or cool stuff and we don't want normal everyday cars and yada 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 and also no social media please wow yeah yeah and they said um ab abnormal people like abnormal cars showing up and it was very it's like that being a bad thing. They were saying kinda, that it was going to deter people with really cool cars from coming. It was it like was a, a it was a bit very of a turn off. Bag. Very douchebaggy. Yeah. You know, the letter was douchebaggy. Yeah. 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 The approach was very the approach, poor. I mean, but just think. I like, understand where they're coming from. You know, like the original Irvine Cars and Coffee had a whole list of cars that were allowed in. It was like two door BMWs pre, you know, it was like, you know, this whole thing, it was Porsche's pre this certain year, all this I stuff. I just think with but cars and coffee, that's the whole I thing. I just think you like, get a little bit, you're opening it to everyone. Look at Canepa, dude. Look at what happened. Like, that's the idea. I think they're trying to avoid that, right? Yeah, but you like, can't, dude. It's you, like, how do you? How, yeah. I mean, it's it, when you're, when you're doing something on your own property like that, like, I feel like you should be able to regulate. Like, I mean, it's, well, it's it, not it, their property. but it's all about no like problem. how you do that. I think the approach is very poor there. It was like saying like, we're very snooty here. Like we want to be elitist and only require it to be a certain way. Yeah. Uh, we'd rather you not come. But, but I think but, the deal with cars and coffee is it's the anti car show. You're just just saying let's have cars yeah. and coffee so if people want to show up in a fiesta st and a 250 lm mm -hmm. you let them both in i think like i, I kind of i i think it, i think it's very douchey to do any of that i think the part that gets to me the one thing i get annoyed with is car clubs showing up yep. yeah so like whether it's eight chargers in a row. Yeah, exactly exactly 15, brand new dodge chargers brand new 20 even Mustangs. a bmw club you right. know or audi club Porsches. will show up or porsche club and it's like, I don't want to see 20 silver 997s. I don't want to see 20 brand new Ford Mustangs with their hoods open. Right. But I don't think, from what I've seen, Trankness has never been like that. 
I saw a Manx, a Myers Manx club roll in, like five of them. But that's and that's cool. rad. And they yeah, parked that's, off that's cool to the side. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. And there's only five. And, there's and they're not going to get more than five. I mean, they're yeah. they're going to self incinerate. Like it's yeah. worth having. Yeah. Interesting. I went to to San Francisco Cars and Coffee this weekend oh, yeah. um, for the first time and the last time. I've never. Ever. I've never been. Last time ever. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know it was really? still going. No, this was a this was a very different thing than I'm used to. So my normal Cars and Coffee is Marin Cars and Coffee in Novato, yeah. and and instead I did the anti football rally which is basically the Marin cars and coffee crowd. So sort of one of you, you there were like three thirties there out of like 75 cars maybe, but you know, a, a big wide selection, this crazy Renault R13 that I'd never even seen before, like wild, wild, cool stuff. Cord. stuff. There's a freaking cord. There was a cord. Nice. Um, but then like the, a Honda Accord. I, I love yeah, those. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Super nice. But yeah, like the 89 to 91. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, then I went to San Francisco Cars and Coffee, and it was a thousand cars, and nine hundred and ninety-five of them were 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 a, a make and model that there were more than a hundred of. I mean, there were like uh. three hundred Camaros, and there were three hundred Chargers, all of which were sitting at their rev limiters the entire time. No. I want, I just, I couldn't wait to get out of there. Oh. And, and, is and it, that's, you have to pay to go to that. You have to pay fifteen bucks. So I parked <laughs> in a different lot and walked over and just got out of there. And yeah. it, th- th- that's. If you don't regulate your cars and coffee, that's what happens. I know. And so I can see it both ways. You can't be a douche about it and say, you're not rich enough or you're not special enough to come to this event. Yeah. But at the same time, I can see the guys in Malibu looking at cars and coffees like that San Francisco one and thinking... This is not what we want. Wrapped, right, you know, right. sort of wrapped I mean, Lamborghinis with gold wheels yeah, on it. It was just it's a very yeah. different thing. I'm, that makes know. one thing I <laughs> makes me think of is how rad our cars and coffee is. Yeah, and we yeah, don't. But do it's any. just limited time, right? It, uh, I don't know. Day. I think you you can mm. also curate your audience too. That's what. So we're I don't think Trankus is going to have like fifty Mustangs show up. I mean, maybe it would, I but I don't think it necessarily it will. Happening. Like, I don't think Berkeley is going to ever have that problem. We had that one incident. Remember the incident? <laughs> there was like a wrapped Maserati. At uh, ours? Yeah. Oh, no. At, uh, at oh, Berkeley Cars Coffee. But that guy was just going to get coffee. Yeah, they just happened to be around. So it's that, fine. That's, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm making yeah. a big deal about the it. The Maserati it, it, incident. It was the Maserati. <laughs> it was like a Maserati with like 50-inch wheels and a gold or a ridiculous wrap on it. But, but well, that even happens at, at Marin Cars and Coffee, though, which is typically pretty small. But there, every once in a while, the, the, charge, the reason I bring up Chargers, the Charger Club will yep, show up. And here, it's yeah. just 75 of the same yeah. car. They have their toy hanging from the hood. Yeah. They have I'm the, not going to even t- discuss... <laughs> Any yeah. of it, except for they're the ones that are always doing the burnouts on the way out, crashing into each other and mm-hmm. getting pulled over and ruining yeah, it for everyone else. Yeah. And so I can I can really see, I can imagine somebody, an organizer of that event you going... You just have to toe that line. It's so hard. Right. And it's impossible for for an un... There's no registration. There's no, no. RSVP. It's just people and are showing up to a place. And it's a public lot. It's just a, you know, a lot That's with the a whole bunch thing of about stores. Cars and Coffee. That's why it bothered me so much reading that. It's like you're having this event, which is supposed to be so casual... And now you want to regulate it. Well, good luck, I guess. Yeah, and then you get into the whole, oh, well, my car is probably not special. Well, enough, they also you know? s- and, said, well, if Jay Leno wants to show up in a newer car, you'll yeah. let him, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, of course. So Not a 325i uh, wagon, a new whatever touring. Maybe. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely a hard one. It's a really difficult one. Um, and I, I see both sides. Um I just I feel like there's got to be a way to communicate that well, and I think with our with us we're we we're in a pretty unique position where we're kind of we have a very specific type of audience. We're also and far enough away from the you know you have to actually have to <laughs> seek our us out. Yeah, so absolutely that definitely helps. Yeah, but how mm-hmm. long has Trank has been going on? I don't know. How long kind of a long time, right? A while, yeah, long time, yeah. A couple years. Or? But it was super private at first. It's kind of crazy. I mean, the social media aspect is like I definitely understand that request. I don't know how you and enforce also, that. Yeah, you can't but do that, and that just kind of sucks. <laughs> that's the right? one that that's I don't. One that I don't get at all. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't know. It's just like all of a sudden, every everything that's cool is like immediately blown up. But and... that's kind of how people know about stuff. I mean, that's I, part, no, that's I know cool it's good. part of the, that. Too. It is good and bad. It is. I know you're saying it's good and bad. Yeah. Like just, you know, everybody from all around wants to be part of like yeah. this new thing, like, like Malibu country market, like, or what is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Like, mm. how does that work? Like, I would imagine that that place would be so crowded all the time. Like I know, you know, I was driving through with the Skylark and I wanted to just see it. Cause I had seen so many cool pictures of cars and, um, you know, like I'm coming from Northern California, like why yeah. that's kind of random. And to, I don't know, I, it's just, it's kind of the death of like yeah. small local things. Yeah. Mm. It's also made a lot of stuff really cool though. 
That's uh, yeah. I, think, I, I mean, a lot of, looking at know, all the pictures. Kind of, you know, a lot of these things had like three guys just sitting there jerking off next to each other, and then all of a sudden people started spreading the word, and they really liked that they was growing. But people then love it, that sort of content. That's but, why the and word then is it spreading. Reached, yeah. And then you know they want more people to come, and then it reaches this point, and then they're like oh, too much curmudgeons and over the whole scene. So too big for their britches. Yeah, exactly. Something. I mean, the truth is, you guys owe your success to social media. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And me too. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So where, how do you balance? That's that why I find like, myself defending it too. You oh, know? I don't. It's like uh, that social media part is like the what? social media part. I just think how there's no way you're going to stop. No, it. there's no. nothing you can do that's, unless you're like checking people's phones at the gate. That's absurd. Yeah, no. You yeah, can sure. vibe people, I guess. Meanwhile, people are taking pictures of this letter, putting it on social media, and that's what we're talking about so, right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think will happen though? I think there'll be a little bit of a backlash, and maybe another event will. But we'll rise up. I don't know. I don't it, know. Might, it might have, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, it's going to have. It might be, there might be an uprising. Like, what if people we just show invite, up with invite all the cars? Those, a bunch yeah. of people drive in with their, like, Cameries. They're just daily blast drivers, the forums. You know? Yeah. You know, all the forums are. Hit them up. I know all the forums are. <laughs> About it, it, it might text. it might Which have book. exactly the intended effect though too like some people that's will be what like, i was gonna uh, say well fuck, like, it's like, like those are the people maybe that they don't want it might you know? deter the people yeah i think it's gonna be that was gonna be one option or the other option and or was gonna be the guys in the charge is gonna show up and do donuts and make a fucking big ass scene yeah, I, and, and you think and they're it, really gonna want to do that that bad it's possible i mean because that'll screw up their that'll totally like cramp their style is that what people say these days or did at some point <laughs> like they did um, in 1960 <laughs> Here's my prediction. The person who wrote the letter is panties are in a bunch. Yeah. Will go away and nothing else will change. Yeah. 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 Just keep growing. Like, it's it's just, just keep growing away. and growing. Yeah. And it's just some, and it's probably a guy who thinks it's his show right. and he's been going there for two years, but the thing started five years ago. Yeah. You know, it's always that yeah, guy. Right. It's that guy that's like, kind of like, oh, I was here at the beginning. You're like, well, not really, because you were actually <laughs> one of the guys that heard about it from fucking so and so's right. Instagram page and you came. And now you're pissed that it's kind of blowing up, you know? Yeah, you're probably right. Yeti Overland. Uh, just won a project in Rockland. Anything to do there besides driving down to see the McQueen Forest and all its magical inhabitants. Oh, is that a tour that people can go on? Dude, there's a mystery Let's spot right it. on the other Let's side of the hill. It. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Uh, Rockland's a little bit of a drive, but... Uh, Wait, what? No, what was the question? I didn't... He's he's I think he's from Colorado and he's going to be working in Rockland for oh, a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, you should uh, hit us up if you're coming to the Bay Area. Where's Rockland? It's near Sacramento. Oh, okay. A couple hours. Well, McQueen but, Forest uh, is kind of a trek, yeah. It is, yeah. It's expensive. Uh, it is. The yeah, entry fees are astronomical. Yeah. yeah. Do you have and to they make no, you do no, work too? No modern cars, right? right? No weird. modern cars. It has to be an arcane car. Very interesting. Definitely no uh, social media. That's no social. Like, <laughs> frowned upon for sure. As, as a matter of fact, I believe that because you posted maybe like three pictures of your fucking compound. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, people ask for it all the time. Flav two four seven says this guy is an awesome guest. This Woo! guy. Oh, this guy. fucking guy. ZHP Dan says, I'm coming back from England in a few months. I'm thinking of importing a car, but running out of ideas. Fun, streetable, future track car, $7,000 budget. Dude. Don't want a mini. Any ideas? Mm, right hand 36 drive, huh? M3. What's a shitty Lotus 7? Are those even anywhere near? I have no idea. They can't be seven grand. They can't be seven grand. Gotta be Some double Peugeot that. or something? Track like car? a shitty 205. For seven grand, I'm trying to think right of forbidden fruit. That two hundred five was a good call. I mean, yeah. you're not going to get a two hundred five GTI, but like a two hundred five with like one liter motors. A Ford Ka. What the? Well, yeah. You can go to Mexico and or bring a that. Puma. A Puma. Puma. Did you say a car? The year in 1995, wasn't it? <laughs> See, you can just save up some more money. Oh snap! Look at you. How about a Polo? Ooh, yeah. Maybe just anything you get for that price in the just, UK is going to be rusted. Just into the buy car. a car in California. And, yeah. There you go. How there about you go. a really cool Polo GTI? I really sure. like that. We were just talking about those. The ones with the quad little round headlights. Yeah. Manual. Yeah. Get it in like a really funky color. They made them like in fluorescent green or something. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's like a Mark one, right? Yeah. I'm down with that. Connor Coons photo says... The bumper shocks on the bug are blown out. Uh, How do you blow out bumper shocks? You um, hit people. You hit? Yeah, you hit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rubbing. <laughs> maybe, he's maybe bouncing around. Uh, he says he's thinking of ditching the bumpers, have Forest, uh, Forest Cool Works make a little front air dam for the bug, yeah. and use the bumper shocks um, as mounts for big fog lights to hide the holes mm. for the bumper. Sounds familiar, Art. You Good idea, bad idea. Do it. Air dam on a bug? Yeah. Could be cool. He's going like full know. race car with that thing. So he's Has basically a built motor. Yeah, oh, nice. I can see that. 
Yeah, I mean, he shit. says he figures the blown me. bumper shocks, um, you know, they won't help much in an accident, anyways. So, it sounds. I mean, they're only for parking. Yeah, so really yeah. No matter what, removing the bumpers off a bug is a good thing. Yeah, even if you don't that. do an air dam, you can go eighties and do the Nerf bars. You know, mm-hmm. that's a good look too. Uh, AJ Turner potentially buying a very low mileage eighty-eight blue Celica All Track. Nice. In your Ooh. expert Radwood opinion. What would be the first tasteful modifications? OZ rally wheels, white snake cassette tapes, etc. Hmm. <laughs> I would go with the. Uh, was it Paul Newman that raced one, or was it a uh, uh, Jack Sparrow? No, Marowak. the other Jack. Uh, there was a Jack. <laughs> what the fuck is his name? In the uh, Beanstalk. He raced at the uh, <laughs> the celebrity in the Beanstalk. In the Beanstalk. To, uh, the celebrity races. Jack Johnson. About Jack Hugh Jackman. Uh, Jack. So, Hugh Jack. do do you remember that that livery? It was like oh, it's like shit. that. Yeah. The yellow, brown, yes. and reddish. Yeah, yellow, brown, and red. That yes. was actually green and orange and purple, just like his name was Jack. That exactly. <laughs> do that uh, to that car. That is the most rad thing you could do. Some vinyl on there. So this is not the Celica. <laughs> Uh, Carlos Sainz edition on no. track. This is the more square. This is the, the earlier, earlier one. one. Yeah. Pop-up yeah. headlights. Yes. Yep. Well, they, well, they both have pop-up headlights. Yeah. But, but this you know is what what the mean? simpler, more narrower square. body. It's the one without... It doesn't have the mirrors like the E36 M3. It was a little, yes. It's, it's the yeah. one before that. Yeah. 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 Those uh, are pretty rare. Yeah. Not, especially in good shape. I haven't shape. seen one for yeah. ever. Those are cool. I was trying cool to convince cool. Art to buy the Carlos Sainz edition all track that on was a good one, the black trailer. One? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what it's sold for. It and I do think some kind, of, some kind of vintage wheels would be pretty cool. Dude, the OZ yeah. wheels is the yeah. only thing you can do. Mud flats. Yeah. They're so flats. rad. <laughs> Mud flats. <laughs> Mud flats yeah. for sure. <laughs> yes. And, and a graphic uh, equalizer. Somewhere. Oh, yes. That's a good call. Actually. You're just constantly fucking with it. Oh, yeah. Every song, <laughs> every song you, you have to tune it. You know? So by the time the song's halfway done, you've maybe fucked it up enough. Totally. Next song, I just um, always hit the jazz button. Send us some pictures though, uh, AJ <laughs> Turner. I'm down. Be a great bumper sticker. I always just hit the jazz button <laughs> <laughs> with a picture of the graphic equalizer. Yes, yeah. yes. My dad um, had a like in the late '80s had an earlier Nissan Maxima, like an '85 or '86. Those had killer stereo. Had the, 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 da- the all digital dash yeah. with like the crazy. I mean, the whole fucking center console yes. or the stack was like more all buttons the better. Equalizey. You, you want more there was buttons. a lot. There were there was a lot going on there. So, Multiple so noise reduction. Equal. Yeah, incredibly yeah. equal. Incredibly equal. Um, okay, Jeff Wise has an excellent question. CLK GTR or 996 GT1 oh, road easy cars. For me. Wait, road cars. Okay, that still works. I would do 996 GT1 with the Marlboro livery. So you're thinking of the the first gen GT1 with a single headlight, yes. not the yeah. Yes. They did, when they used the later 996 headlights, um, they had a different livery. But yes, did, I, know yeah. what about. I like the Marlboro one. That's a good look. Yeah. yeah. Um, unless the uh, the CLK GTR okay. Cabrio, well, the, the Cabrio, the Roadster's like <laughs> the Roadster so ridiculous. Oh man, they only made. <laughs> I don't know, 10 of those. Yeah. And um, they're amazing. Very amazing. I'd still go nice. Do you have any, uh, is, <laughs> not that you'd be doing this in real life, but any uh, down points for the fact that the CLK flipped end over end down? Dude, the Molson Porsche Street? did too. They both did? Yeah. Oh, extra yeah. points anyway. Extra that points. Is, yeah. I mean, can you imagine well, rolling up, salts? dude, out of the cars and coffee? I'd be doing that all. Oh, <laughs> Trankus, motherfucker! <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like flip by Trankus, dog. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> What's that noise? Oh shit! It's art. Yeah. Start a new GT1 meme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Mark mm-hmm. Weber, because I read uh, Aussie Grit in the book. He talks about it, and like he actually was super nervous driving the car, like and mentioned that there I was wonder, something I weird going why. on, <laughs> and it happened to him, I believe, twice. I mean, it was. It's, I think it was. That twice yeah. yeah super gnarly i'm yeah. gonna go uh <clears throat> god damn it's kind of tough i'm going gt1 that road yeah. version of that car is fucking stunning it's, it's got so many rad angles and curves and yeah just on a pure aesthetic basis mm. gt1 no cab for you clk gtr no, no can't do roadster that's hair like, flowing in the wind that's kind of like nice. a fabio kind of yeah, way or something yeah exactly. fabio fabio Listen to Daft Punk and like yeah Switzerland or something. I go I'm GT1. Happy. The the CLK is a little that E class front end. I know that's always bothered it, me. It takes Although, it down a they're notch. pretty cool though. The interiors are rad. I know a like, dude, a, a guy that has one actually. Yeah. Coastal Range Rally? <laughs> oh my God. It's like three millimeters of ground clearance. I know. I can't even so picture this car. Skipping, but... skipping along. Which yeah, you I'm got? going 996. 996, Jason. 
I'll just do C okay just to be different because <laughs> you know either way Very winner yeah, yeah. Totally. Um, Lincoln Turns says empty meatballs or a rondels on a streetcar 356 911 of course even an S30Z it's an S30Z that's that like that the 240Zs yeah that's that's first first show. Show. yeah um, oh GT1 also did it yeah so there's he's saying that those can pull it off is it too trendy right now timeless any DWA approved car that would not be acceptable to add meatball to. So for the listeners who don't know, he's talking about like racing numbers, like a big white, white circle, circle where you put your your, numbers, your door or on the hood or something. I think once you get to the eighties, I don't think it's really acceptable. Kind of agree. Like I think they, they started doing square number plates for race cars in the eighties, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's more of a classic thing. Pre-smog. That'd be pre-smog. Yeah, hmm. I think roughly. I mean, in 911, you could justify it. Well, I can see the 944 time, but... looking cool with that, like Lane's 944. I, yeah. I mean, because he was asking specifically our cars, which one would not be acceptable, right? It'll definitely work on the Skylark. He says any DWA approved car that would not be. Oh, acceptable. approved. Sorry, yeah, just ours. like in general. Hmm. I was just kidding about the Skylark, by the way. That would not be. DWA approved car that would not be. Would anyone here rock a meatball on their car? No. No. <laughs> You know what though? I, 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 see, I would do it on the I bat. see I see a 240Z rolling around. It looks really it looks rad because it's kind of like a race car. But I wouldn't have the balls to do that. Or the meatballs. Oh, oh. oh snap. I'm thinking your truck needs to have Dude, hell yeah. That does have a McLaren sticker. It does. One thing that bugs the hell out of me is a meatball that's too small. Yeah. Ooh. I think so it many has people to do go that. over. Yeah. Like different bodies panels. Yeah, I think it needs to spread full body bleed. panels. Yeah. Full bleed. It, it needs needs bleed. Well, and you have to think about. I think it's important to consider the rules of the day. Like you need the numbers to be a certain height. Like right. usually yeah, it's, like it's like eight like to twelve, 12 inches. inches or something. Yeah, but look at the meatballs. Like you have to have space yeah, over it too. Yeah, like I, the meatballs are small. Man. I think you want a, <laughs> the meatballs I think are small. You want a huge meatball. Picture, want a picture meatball. Picture myself from this country. Picture that like little. It's almost like ground beef, but like little tiny meatballs. Like I, I think so. Phil Gill. Dorf's, He's got a good meatball. His meatball's good. But you make a good meatball. No, 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 no. You know what makes his is the the font of his number. That is also good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Classic. Like perfect. Yeah. It's his perfect classic. And the mustard color of his car. Exactly. Yeah. I'm it's down with that though. The multi panel thing. And I actually don't like it when the meatball is contained within the door. No, like, that's the to, thing. So like, his is like his is actually top. flat at the bottom. That's it's cool. cropped off I'm by down the with bottom. That. Yeah. Yeah. I think the the type of numbers you use are almost as important. If you're going to do numbers, yeah. it's like I think it looks good on the back of a 911 when it's off half on the fender, half on the trunk lid. Mm-hmm. That oh, style there. that looks cool. Scrotal draping. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scrotal draping. Wow. Yeah. How did you have that just ready to go? <laughs> just popped into my head. He's been working on it. He hasn't said a thing, right? I'm mostly mortified by this. I just call it teabagging. <laughs> Not there was a draping. <laughs> if there was a if there was a DWA uh, HR department, they'd be called right now. <laughs> I know. Isn't that what you're going to be applying for? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so it's Jason at uh, Jason HR at DWA. <laughs> <laughs> we should make that alias I know, comes yeah, through. Know, <laughs> uh, product development <laughs> HR throttle by cable is sense of occasion situational for example I saw a Ford Contour SVT yesterday I was impressed as it was a clean uh, it was clean sounded great obviously loved it scented all my Cajuns, but in 99% of situations, HR. no one would pay it any attention. People would notice a Lotus 7. People would notice a car like that. No one would notice an SVT Contour unless it was a, at a car show. Even then, probably not. So is SOC situational? So for him, he's talking about... He's, I think he's, he's looking interested at condition. In, but he's also interested in people noticing the car. And we, I think that's we part of sense of It is a fraction of it, yeah. right? Well, like, it could be oh, a huge a part no, yeah. on or, some cars. I mean, no, it's part of the pie. Yeah, it's whatever. part of the pie, yeah. Right. We don't know what that pie looks yeah. like. but That could be like 90% of a certain of a car. Pie. <laughs> yeah, of, of a pie. Yeah, of a pie. Like pie. presence, exactly. right? Like, yeah, presence. so sense of occasion is presence, but I mean, a the, big part of that. S- but, SVT Contour is not a great fantastic car i mean the mm-hmm. interiors are okay that it's motor like makes Jason's up for everything car. and motor. i think it's cher- not for everything i think oh. it like i think a cherry one like an immaculate there's actually one, a good one on the west side there's one right right yeah. down the street from my yeah. house but like a time machine one with a manual transmission it's a time machine <laughs> yeah, it's a not actually flux capacitor so i <laughs> i think not a time think that's a big piece of the pie yeah. i think that could have sense of occasion <laughs> like machine. like we just had a dodge arrow pickup truck sign up for radway oh yeah you know amazing. with the graphics on the side and everything 
And that he's got car, two of them. And it, he has two, and one's yellow, and he's There's making it into a convertible. Which I don't think he should do. But but that thing, is two. If, if you have a super clean one of those, that has tons of sense of occasion. I mean, just the fact that it's yellow with orange racing stripes on it and but stuff. But you're the one driving it. <laughs> yeah. So you're in it. Driving it, yeah, and I, but I still think you have that. You, you know, people are looking at you. You're driving you know something you're, special. Yeah, you're driving something special. Even though back in the day that was just a shit box. Yeah, truck. exactly, exactly. Um, but I do think like yeah. that car turned into having it. It has a sense of occasion, definitely. Now where it was just a Gardner truck in 1981. All right. A friend of mine is bringing a 30,000 mile um, Suzuki. Um, what's the things that flipped over? Um, oh yeah, sidekick trooper samurai. No, they were samurai. The original <laughs> one uh, yeah. that he bought. It, it was towed behind a motorhome for twenty five thousand miles, so it actually only has five thousand miles. Holy on crap! It. Um, <laughs> he's, he's bringing it to Redwood, and it, that was just a normal shit box twenty five years ago. Yeah, it was ago. a no cheap look, thing you could tow behind a right, motorhome, and it's that teal, that nineties teal color. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Like and splash graphics he, on the side. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it does. Uh, but everywhere he goes, people like scream and clap, and they're. Yeah. I think what they're saying is <laughs> like, "Oh my god, you survived this long. You haven't flipped over and died." Right. But either way, that was a car that had no occasion to yeah. it at all then and now look at it like, now it has wait, plenty right? wait until you see what people do yeah. over this thing at right they're gonna lose their minds Scro- 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 scrotal uh, scrotal what was it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like the the top tier of a car you go that thing deserves scrotal, 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 scrotal. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot what it was and i almost said flapping and that was a whole other visual <laughs> that's that's scrotal drapage at high speed <laughs> okay yeah, oh, windows down God. oh that thing's flapping moving on moving on <clears throat> <laughs> Throttled by Cable also says, uh, anyone going to be watching King of the Hammers on Friday? I'm Ooh. down with that event. I didn't know you could watch it. Is it's it probably Red streams or online or something. Yeah. Looks insane. On the line. I don't think I'll yeah. be watching it. I would like uh, to go sometime. That looks insane. We should do a trip. Nevada yeah. somewhere? You been? No. Oh. Go. Yeah. Fun. One of my yeah, one of my buddies like posted last year he went and he posted a slow motion video of like a truck jumping and landing and the entire suspension compressed. Like it bas- basically just picture the body on the ground, like the frame on the ground, and then it just extended all the way up and just drove Draping away. Like no bouncing, no nothing. Mm-hmm. It just absorbed all of the shock and then rebounded and just drove like off. KWs, huh? It's yeah, KW V threes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are so and, <laughs> from what I, adjustable. From what I know about that race, the cool thing is that there's Straight up like rock climbing, and then there's all out kind of like almost desert wow. sections, like Baja sections. So it's you're trying to find that perfect compromise between Ooh. the two, or there's guys that'll just fly on the straights and they'll yeah. have tons of trouble doing the rocks. The one that I vice versa. remember seeing is a really upright uh wall they had yeah. to go up yeah like dude like sand wall that very was like aggressive rock climbing feet yeah, yeah. They're like stupid. unbelievable just show shit. up in a helicopter you can do all of that that's know, all right? dumb fucks. <laughs> fly you. low or what or just <laughs> suzuki <laughs> samurai in the house uh matt says what you guys ever get hit with project uh project car install on progress it, it's very confusing <laughs> <laughs> i don't even read what he really wrote uh how do you reignite the passion candlelight welding sessions i joke but i'm mostly serious how do you regulate the passion no, how reignite. do you reignite reignite so Not you sure. have a fuel leak on your sec oh yeah that's how are you gonna saying, reignite it uh with a lighter <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was never ignited in the first place, so I just let it be, right? That's what you do. Just let it sit with a leak indefinitely. Yeah. And never drive it? Never drive it. That's it. So how do it's you over. keep going on, prog- on projects? Like, <sighs> Brian, is, Brian projects you're, kind of, you. you're kind of stalled out. Are you? I mean, no. It's going to be ready uh, for okay. fucking right coastal now. range. Come on. We have so much more to do. Uh, <laughs> we have so much more to do. I mean, I think you just power through, right? You've got a bunch, yeah. Jason. How do you keep these uh, projects going? You when one breaks and it pisses you off, you drive the next one until it breaks, and then you go to the next one. And when they're all broken, you start fixing them. It's just a, it's the circle of life or something. You just never yeah. stop. It sounds like a really low low. All my cars are broken, and I got to fix all of them. <laughs> well, how about you? So how, we, on, I mean, you know, is that not your like daily situation? <laughs> it, yeah, no, that does sound familiar. Yeah, yeah, you had a bunch of rebuilt familiar. engines like go bad on you mm. and stuff. So how thank God for electric so cars, the, by the way. How do right. you read? How do you keep- on electric cars under warranty, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm at E-Golf. It's like the one I thing just you don't rotated have to worry about. the tires on the E-Golf That's today. A different podcast. The first time I should probably do that. You car nerds. Um, you know, the, know. the best part is I have like all of these Instagram followers that are invested in my like last rebuild for the Scirocco and I don't have the heart to tell them that the third fucking build on the same block is using a ton of oil again. Yeah. Mm. So I went and bought a different motor. Yeah. Oh, so, right. Another one. So I'm, this will be engine. This will be block number seven, build number oh. 10. How many miles wow. on the new one? The new one now has, um, the one that you just purchased. Th- 
Oh, the one that that is going to go in. No idea. Junkyard motor. Hmm. I'm going to pull it apart. But this time, I'm going to do forged pistons because okay. you know, why not? And just go have a little a little more fun. But um, yeah, this the current build I think has is using a cord every 800 miles, yeah. which is fine. Yeah, that's not but, too bad. Yeah, but my, my I think cabbie, BMW specifies that for the new car. That, that oh yeah, way yeah. more than that. Well, my cabbie alone. has the same motor and it uses a cord every 2500, and that's what they they should be using. Yeah. So, um, uh, what are you going to do with the old motor? I might put it in the rabbit. Oh, you're going to use it still. I'm thinking I'll put carbs on it and put it in the in the waste wagon. You just melt it down into a anvil or, or something. throw it over the fucking cliff in my backyard and exactly. say fuck you, exactly. Sayonara. Exactly. Yeah. Planner box. Um we'll see. Tyler Tyler Le, what infuriates you most about youth car culture? Damn youth. youth car culture. It doesn't infuriate me, but I'm always curious of what those kids do with all the pictures. What those kids those do with pictures? All... So Wait, there's these know. kids at Canepa, like oh, 10 yeah. of them. Oh, they have like yeah. DSLRs and they're running after cars leaving the event. They're chasing cars inside. They're taking a ton. Are they oh, going to pay some video or pictures? They probably have YouTube no, channels. Well, they're always it's pictures. Yeah, photos. I remember. It's a Wayne Carini hire. I'm chasing classic cars. So like they just chase them down the road. <laughs> no, <laughs> such a terrible joke. That's <laughs> so bad. Really I, know, why I we laughed give so a... hard. <laughs> you guys all laughed. I didn't laugh. I instantly said no. No, it was my first comment. Uh, we need slow mo reaction to yeah. that one. We go back to the tape. Um, I was like, ha, ha, ha. Jason, Jason was like, ha, ha. still laughing, laughing hard. Anyways, I I once went up to him. I said, "What do you guys do with these pictures?" His art fake laugh is really good, actually. Yeah. Anyhow, oh, but, see, this is great. So what did you do? You actually went up to him? I asked the Utes. Them. The Utes. You're I scared of the Utes taking I'm pictures. I'm not scared of them at all. I'm wondering <laughs> okay. what they do with them. <laughs> what what they, they say? They said, no, just keep them. Really? That was it. Yeah. Hard drive space is free. I guess that's it. Is it? Yeah, and then, all have yeah but that, that might be, like, why would they be doing that instead of buying their own junk car? Yeah, and that's an expensive hobby. Those cameras are not cheap. Yeah. Mommy kids that are living at, yeah, 15-year-old kids. Many, are, many yeah, C4 Corvettes. Corvettes. <clears throat> You're yeah. taking pictures of Cars that are at dealerships. Yeah. And doing that's what? the worst. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. So when uh, Matt worked at McLaren, like there were kids that show up and take pictures. Oh, yeah, of all yeah. the, like if he would post, a, uh, like when the uh, 675 LT showed up, like a freaking crowd of kids showed up to take pictures of it. Wow. And on top of that, they showed up while he was taking like real professional photos of the car to sell it. And like they were in his way and oh, shit. Right. It was like so frustrating. Oh, Matt probably loved that. Oh, he was stoked. Tom sent me a picture of the new Phantom at uh, Silicon Valley. Looks fucking insane that front end kids these so days kids. my problem with kids these days in the car community is that everyone thinks they're a fucking expert they are they all like they put their iphone in front of their face and they're like i'm standing here in front of insert name of car they know nothing about and i know everything about it and they do these these video reviews and they think that oh, they have some video. perspective but they've never driven anything yeah, yeah. that's what pisses me that's off. annoying yeah i wonder where we are we're right at the top. We're of experts yes. in automotive opinion. Yeah, we just opine. Every once in a while, I'm listening to your podcast, and I'm like, I wish they would have just fucking called me for the answer to that question. Just <laughs> that's do what it, Misa Lifeline on this, please. You just need to be on. Oh, that would be we're funny. Like, we've got call nothing. You, we should call you on the during the podcast. Well, there are so many times where I want to call you in the middle of the podcast and be like, "No, fuckers, that one, <laughs> but I can't because it was pre-recorded." This is the yeah. service that we offer. We make people angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you listen, whippersnappers. Um, I'm. The last thing I'll throw in there is uh, I've said it before. I'm over the super stretched camber shit. It's been I know it's it's still happening, dude. It's the old guys that are doing that nowadays. It's, like, <sighs> it's, it's not the kids. There's, it's still happening. I saw a kid today with uh, actually the, the the ricers that we encountered on the hill. All those WRXs were slammed on super stretched tires with stickers on them. Like, why tire stickers are dope, yo? No, yeah. they're not. The Mika Cargo is super fast. They don't. How many horsepower? Save Five the amber. Save the amber. Oh, yeah. Euro Save or clear ambers. corners. No more yeah. clear corners. Don't do it on a car pre. Unless it's Euro. You're I mean, tin- like that. Hey, tinted taillights and headlights. T- tinted headlights is dumb. Yeah. Oh, I've t- seen that. I mean, my car is factory tinted taillights. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, that's yes, fine. Factory's right. fine. Save the amber. Have you seen the rattle can taillights? Like actually sprayed in black? Yeah. I've seen that before. Dude, did you see that R107 SL we had? Oh, the right. Headlights, oh, yeah. The Euro headlights were spray painted black. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fucking genius. Yeah. yeah. Darwin will be quick on that one. <laughs> yeah. I am skipping the uh, Fast and Furious question. Do you guys want me to answer? ask it? What is it? Ooh. What is your... Uh, this is E36 M3 yeah, V8. V8? 
Interesting. What is your least hated vehicle from the Fast and Furious franchise? Ooh, and and he says, don't act Jetta. like you haven't seen them all. I love the Volkswagen with the fist coming through it, the Bow Wow drove. <laughs> Wait, wasn't it? I don't know. Was that I'm thinking PD? of the first one with that automatic Mark III two-point slow. Oh, oh just, oh, just so I can yeah, be an yeah. asshole and remember that there was I'm one. I'm going with the, the white uh, one, right? Yeah. The one that didn't have bra- uh, no brake calibers, right? Did you see that that one <laughs> shot of it? Yeah, like right before, really? they, right before they start the race or at the end when... I, no, it was right before they start the race with like with the Honda 2000 remember yeah, yeah. um uh that's what he calls it and uh <laughs> yeah. and so the my joke, dad when we get out when that dad gets out of jail yeah that guy so um the joke was that uh the kid never came back remember he left after yeah. the, he lost the race yeah. because he didn't have brake calipers and if you look at the start of the race <laughs> if you freeze frame you could never stop just a disc- he literally well, doesn't have calipers? no caliper so, you know those that drum brakes in the back is that was it a rear shot no, it was the front. It was front, front? Okay. No, just, just all disc. Well, that two point slow was so fucking slow. You didn't actually need brakes. This is true. You just put it in first. Paul gear. Walker was driving a yeah. Mark One Skyline in Brazil as like a transport car. It had nothing to do with racing. Do you mm. remember that? Mm-mm. I didn't watch that one. That's oh. what? I, I didn't watch all of them. One. I think I, I've seen, seen maybe two of them. I Weren't they seen two? And that's my so one. my favorite one was the in Tokyo Drift, the Monte Carlo that the the dude drives. That thing is badass. Like he's he's dailies it on huge slicks. It's like all NASCAR out lowered. I don't remember that. Ooh. He's got a primer. He you could tell that he peeled off the vinyl top and primered it. So it's like primered tan with like a. Talking like, about the character did this or the so rad dope. person who built the car? It's, it looks really cool. It's like full NASCAR, but like uh, he races it against a. Vinyl Viper, I think, at the beginning. Um, yeah, it's oh, cool. yeah, in the states. That yeah. was when yeah, it was in the states before states. he went to okay, Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, through the through the construction zone of the right. new homes. Yeah. Don't they have yeah. a Mark One Ford Escort in one of them? Yeah, that was uh, like one of the late ones, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a scene where he jumps off of that into yeah, a tank see, like, or Fast something. Fast and Furious yeah. 15 or something. That reminds me of the Hennessy. What's the new Hennessy supercar? The 300 called? mile an hour one or whatever. Mm. Uh, so that thing, the calipers were on upside down at SEMA. No. What do you mean? Upside the bleed down. screws were on the bottom. Yes. Oh, that that helps bleeding the yeah. brakes mm. a lot. Yes. If you want your fluid on uh-huh. the ground. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I even like, make anything up. I was like, not sure I'm if joking. I'm like, what is happening here? My G- attempt at sarcasm. The Jim oh, Belushi okay. of says, thoughts on adding sound, sound ending to a hardtop NA8. That was an NA8. Nate. What's NA a question mark? NA8. Uses a short commuter on yeah, maybe, wait, NA what, Miata, maybe, is what he's trying to say. Yeah, NA yeah. question mark is probably... He said question mark. Oh, my God. What's shoot. next to the 8 <laughs> on the keyboard? Or is uh, it eight? Yeah. Sound ending to a hard top NA, huh. NA. Oh, like to the actual hard top? Uses a short commuter on weekends. Sure, why not? Fun Canyon Mountain car on weekends. It's too loud, I guess. Use earplugs. Use earplugs? <laughs> Don't do it? Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Uh, Diag All Day says, is this going to be... He- be a hate off who has more irrational hate oh, is you, this Jason. uh is this in reference to your very your likely comments yeah because yeah. uh, we have hashtag lane hate by the way so that's okay. lane and we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll uh we'll figure something out for you <laughs> figure something out <laughs> the hate off what yeah. kind of hate i mean well uh no that'll be on the sunday episode we do have a tune in on sunday because we have an epic list that uh jason has put together for us uh it is uh what is the list it's the um, <laughs> NRBJ. <laughs> yes, uh, not right by Jesus list. It's all the things. Well, it's a very small selection of of the huge amount of things that are not right by Jesus. It's a nice in the world according to it's Jesus. It's a curated oh, sample. You guys better tune in <laughs> next week. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sunday, Sunday, awesome. Sunday, Sunday. I think that's a podcast. I think you're right, Jason. Thank you as always. Thanks for having me, guys. We'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. back of a 911 when it's off
half on the fender, half on the trunk lid. Mm-hmm. That oh, style. Okay. That looks cool. Scrotal draping. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scrotal draping. Wow. Yeah. How did you have that just ready to go? <laughs> Popped in my head. He's been working on it. He hasn't said a thing, right? I'm mostly mortified by this. I just call it teabagging. <laughs> Not there was a draping. <laughs> if there was a, if there was a DWA uh, HR department, they'd be called right now. I know. Isn't that what you're going to be applying for? Oh, fuck no. <laughs>